As soon as I landed in LA, this was the first place that I went to because they do the best 100% plant-based Mexican food. It is so good and the atmosphere is super chill in there and I really like it. So I ended up ordering the butternut squash quesadillas, which were amazing, but I also had some tacos and a pear salad and also some chips and guac. Then I made a sneaky little stop to Earth Cafe and I just grabbed a veggie juice. And of course, this video would not be complete without a stop to Sun Life. Sun Life does the best Dragon Bowls and acai bowls that I've ever had. I think in this trip, I ate a total of five of these bowls in the one week span that I was down there this time. They are just that good. I normally go for the Dragon Bowl, which is this pink one that I'm eating here, but the acai bowl is also nice for some variety. They're both super delicious though, and you can't go wrong with either of them. And what's also really great about Sun Life is that they always have a bunch of little like grab-and-go snacks. So I ended up picking up these granola bars and I got this pesto wrap. This was like a raw vegan collard green wrap thing that was really good. It also came with like this dip and it was just like the perfect little snack for on the go. The raw vegan desserts always change there, but if you can get your hands on the salted caramel truffles, I highly recommend you try them out. They are one of my favorite desserts ever. Next up was Real Food Daily, and I was super excited to go here because this was actually my first time, and I'd heard so many amazing things about this restaurant, and it definitely lived up to the hype. So for starters, I ended up grabbing this crispy seitan dish, and it was actually, I believe, the special of the month, but it was really great. And then I also ordered a starter salad, and this just came with like their house dressing. I just ate one of those for clarification. Um, and yeah, it was just really good and fresh and exactly what I needed in that moment. And then here were the main dishes that we ordered. So this was my dish. This was the creamy Alfredo, and it was absolutely amazing. It was so filling as well. And then this is their lasagna, and I ended up actually having a bite of this, and this was ugh, to die for, amazing. And then this here is just like their regular house burger. And then for dessert, we ended up splitting this carrot cake, which was super creamy and rich. Oh, and also on a side note, the service at this place was absolutely amazing. Next up is the Fresh Press Juicery, and I actually ended up going on a hike that day, so I was just craving something really refreshing and fruity and really hydrating, so I ended up ordering this citrus freeze with some fruit on top, and it was melting because it was so hot out, and I also got a juice to go along with it. Next up was Crossroads, and here the portion sizes are a little smaller, so they normally encourage you to order multiple plates. So I started off with this blooming mushroom, which was super delicious. And then I also ended up having a little bit of this lentil flatbread, and this came with some pesto, this homemade hummus, and also this amazing spicy tomato banana pepper jam. It was to die for. This guy over here is the spring pizza. This had like grilled asparagus on top and sun-dried tomatoes and crispy kale. I ended up having a couple of bites of that and it was really yummy. This is what I ordered though. This was the um, artichoke oysters and I was a little hesitant at first just because I was never a big fan of seafood even before I went vegan, but I am so glad that I ended up ordering it because it was like one of my favorite dishes of the whole trip. It was so good. It had this creamy um, artichoke puree and crispy oyster mushrooms and then this kelp caviar on top, which sounds very fancy, but it was, um, it was honestly to die for. This kale Caesar was also really good too. I had a couple of bites of that. I also made a quick little stop over at Sprinkles because their vegan red velvets are to die for.
And we're back at Salt Knife. I ended up getting this coconut water. This one was actually pink and I've never had pink coconut water before, but it was really good. And I got the classic Dragon Ball. You guys seriously need to go here, it's amazing. I ended up making a little stop at Alfred's and I grabbed this vanilla almond milk. And fun fact, this was the first plant-based milk that I had actually ever tried years back. And this is actually still my favorite almond milk today. Next up is the Veggie Grill. And this is just kind of like a casual fast food kind of place. I ended up grabbing a chicken burger and a ranch salad, but also pictured is a barbecue wing wrap and some mashed potatoes. I went for dinner at the Sun Cafe one night and I ended up grabbing some cauliflower barbecue bites which were really yummy. And then for my main, I got this marinated beet and quinoa salad. And this was one of the best salad dressings that I had had in a while. It was like a really good kind of sweet vinaigrette. This over here is I think like a BLT sandwich and this guy was like a tempeh sandwich. I'm not really sure, I didn't eat them. But everything looked delicious and I know that my dish was absolutely amazing. I ended up ordering this cookie dough cheesecake for dessert, and I tried to get a really good shot of me breaking it off, but it didn't work out too good. Let's try that again. And nope, okay, still didn't work. The bottom was so crumbly, and the top was just so creamy and chocolatey and moussey. It didn't break apart very easily, but I devoured it within like seconds. It was amazing. Now, out of all the restaurants, I think this one might have been my favorite. These guys here are the stuffed shiitake mushrooms. They were really yummy. And then I also got some seasonal veg to start. And now this guy here is a kale apricot salad and it doesn't look like anything special, but let me tell you, this might have been the best kale salad that I ever had. It was delicious. Now let's move on to the exciting things, the sushi rolls. This one here was the green forest and this was like an avocado wrapped asparagus carrot roll with like tempura broccoli on top. It was super delicious, I devoured it. I was totally in the sushi mood that day too so I was just like inhaling the food. Now this sushi roll I think was my favorite of the night. It was to die for. It was like this grilled pumpkin with tons of seaweed and this amazing creamy sauce. It was to die for, you definitely have to check it out if you go there. This one was the dynamite roll, and this was like a spicy tofu and avocado roll. It also had a mayo and a spicy beet sauce with it, and also these little crunchy things on top that I'm not really quite sure what they were, but it was very good. This last roll here is called Ladies Who Crunch, and my friend who didn't even like sushi ended up liking this roll, so I think this is like a safe one. It had fried tempeh and kale and crispy rice paper on it. It was beautiful and also delicious. My final stop was an oldie but a goodie, Cafe Gratitude. I ended up sharing a little bit of a cinnamon roll and some banana bread. And looking back, I probably should have ordered fruit or something a bit lighter to start. I don't know what I was thinking. I ended up ordering some French toast for breakfast and this was amazing. It was this delicious raspberry reduction with this cashew cream and some fresh berries and maple syrup. It was just so decadent and ugh, looking back, I'm like salivating watching this. And these were the buckwheat pancakes. I had a bite of them. They were just like a good classic pancake. Although everything was amazing, none of us could finish our meals just because it was all so filling, but it was an amazing last meal. Although it was a bit bittersweet just because I had made so many amazing memories and I didn't want to go home and I didn't want to leave, but all good things must come to an end.